So in our last video in the long block, we installed the oil pump, the oil pump ladder, and the oil pump chain onto the block. In this episode, we'll be installing the cylinder head, the camshaft, and the timing chain. Before we put on the new gasket and install the cylinder head, we're going to remove any residue that's on the mating surface of the cylinder head to the engine block. So you may want to consider bringing your cylinder head to a machine shop. Make sure that the mating surfaces are flat and true and all your valves are in good condition and they're providing good sealing. Otherwise, just clean up all the former gasket residue material that's on the head with a razor. Make sure you don't gouge the contact surface. Just use a shallow angle and just scrape the material off. Don't use any abrasive material like a wire brush or sandpaper and you don't have to get this all bright and shiny. Just make sure that the residue from the old gasket has been removed because if you use any type of abrasive material it can alter the flatness of the aluminum and that will, may result in a poor seal. All you need to do is just scrape the residue from the old gasket off, make sure the contact surface is oil free, then you can reattach the cylinder head onto the block. This is a 12 point triple square socket. It's sort of like a torque socket but with 12 points. And I'm just going to run these bolts down, just make them, keep them moderately loose. So this first pass is just torquing the bolts at 25 foot pounds. So I tilted the engine on the side so that the engine stand won't move while I'm applying the angle torque. So we're going to be uh, doing 90 to 95 degrees and we're making two passes. And now we have to do this one more time for a total of 180 degrees. I'm using assembly lube for the camshaft journals. You could use motor oil, but a little bit slipperier with assembly lube.
In this cam configuration, the oil channel is in the block, the cylinder head, and this cap. But on the other camshaft, the oil grooves are in the camshaft, so the cylinder head has a bearing here and a bearing over there. So on the second pass you do 9.4 foot pounds of torque on these two sets of caps. Then you finish up with these guys. One, two, and three. And these get torqued on at 23.1 in the second pass. That dot shows the alignment mark for the timing chain. that dot right here. Now we have all this slack on this side. Now when this extends outward, you can't push it back in unless you take this part of the tensioner and use your fingernail, hold it up, and then you could push it back in. So what I do here is I just guide it in Putting, applying pressure until the holes line up and then I put it then I put the mounting bolts in there we go Let's put these down That's it for this episode. We got the cylinder head on, the camshaft, the camshaft caps, the timing chain, the timing chain guide, and the timing chain tensioner.